Good morning, everybody. It's a Thursday, day before Friday. Welcome to my vlog walk on my private property. How you doing this morning? I thought it was a little wetter than it was. It's uh, icy out here. Look at all this uh, ice on the road now, on my back road. It was really slushy and wet this morning. Kind of freezing out here this morning. What a couple of days it has been as far as weather-wise. Nasty. If you're on the roads, drive with care. Looks like the road crews are up and out and making sure everything is going to go smoothly on your commute or on your lunch break or your commute home. Ah, on my morning vlog walk with my favorite companion. Ah, she loves to walk. No leash this morning. Look at those tracks. A lot of deer tracks this morning on my vlog walk. Yeah. Big shout out to Dale Schneider over there in the Turner area. How you doing there, Dale, this morning? Every time I see a squirrel running across the road or up a tree, I think of Dale <laughs> and what he's done for the kids, the future hunters of Michigan when he had that uh, squirrel camp. Brought them all out and had a good, good time together. That's what I see when I see squirrels. But anyway, howdy, Dale. Hope your coffee's fine and hot. I'm on my second cup this morning, thanks to Cops and Donuts, we are on the road, by golly. As I said to my uh, earlier SoundCloud this morning, we've got that oak wilt disease. Going to be heading into our area again, probably. They say right around April 15th, don't do any pruning through April, through the 1st of June, I think it is. If you can, I think it's the 1st of June, maybe it's a little sooner than that, but that's when if you do prune it, the wounds on the trees, they attract the beetles, which carry the oak wilt, which is killing oak trees throughout the state of Michigan within two weeks. The tree's gone. The tree is gone. Decades of growing a beautiful oak. They are a majestic tree. Not the prettiest in the fall. <laughs> well, it's a matter of opinion. I like the the elm and the, the aspen trees, the yellows, and the ah, luminescent ones. I'm thinking fall already? Come on now. I've got to stick with spring. It's hard to stick with spring. Oh, with snow as hard as this. I got my boots on, as you can see. I'm no fool, contrary to speculation. All right, on my morning walk, and I think we passed our meadow where we usually cut off and I go the rest of the way and leave you to uh, face the day. Oh, yeah. A lot of things happening up at the Michigan Magazine. Uh, I should say Coopersville, Old West Town. I say Michigan Magazine because we we are up there a lot. And we like to come, become a part of that. The Old West Town. Spike is, and crew are really bringing it along for the summer, summer season. Don't let that stop you. You can go up there any time of the year and visit Coopersville, Old West Town. Of course, it's free. Isn't this a wonderful day? <laughs> Cloudy up there. Up there, people. Keep faith. Yep, there's sun up there. I know there is. It's right behind all those clouds. And there's a beautiful blue sky. I come to appreciate that. On a trip, I can't remember where I was going, in an airplane. I think it was Delta, looking out the, above the clouds. It was just overcast underneath the clouds. But up there, oh my, the sky was just luminescent blue and the clouds below were fluffy and white. It's almost like you could step out on the wings and then hop onto the cloud and lay down. I wouldn't try that though. Some people have a tendency to see what they can do by jumping out of planes. And My daughter did that once. Scared the devil out of me. Oh, she was went to one of these classes, see these skydiving classes, these day classes where she spent I don't know, five or six hours training, and then they take you up in the plane, and then they jump out of the airplane in tandem, and uh, they tell everybody when they're preparing to jump. My daughter and her friends were there to uh, leave your cell phones inside or in the locker or whatever because. We know that people are going to be calling you and saying, how are you doing? How are you doing? And I was one of those and nobody would answer the cell phone, but I found out later what had happened. I, you know, you just kind of want to check up on your daughter and find out how the skydiving jump is going. And it went very well. I think I've got a picture up online and she's clinging to the outside wing 
where they had to pry her fingers off. No, no, she did eventually jump. I believe it was tandem. Maybe it wasn't tandem. I don't remember. I was just was too scared. But anyway, gotta let your kids go every once in a while. <laughs> she just celebrated her what, 36, 37, 38th birthday. But anyway, I digress on a morning walk. Glad you could join me. Where's my little partner? Oh, there she is. I think she's ready to go in. Had enough walking this morning, huh? Have a great day. We'll check in with you again sometime on the road. I'm doing a little vlog walk. Maybe hit another town and do some come uh, unexpected walking and vlogging. I like to do that. Listen to the crunch. And I'll leave you with that.